What's up guys? Welcome to the artclasses.com. This is Ziatev Tara. In this video or this session is going to be a Patreon paint over. Um, so um, I usually do Patreon paint over once a week uh, since I hit my first goal. I use, I on the goal it's say once a month but I, since I have a little bit of time I usually do two or three. But um, if you want to get critique and paint over go to my Patreon, you can click on the right uh, corner, top right, and just click on the Patreon page and then go pledge. Um, even is, uh, the panel is for all levels, so you can just go to Patreon here, uh, patreon.com slash and then this will be my post, and click on community, and then you post your artwork here. And even if you pledge like a dollar a month, and if you post your artwork, you might get picked. So it depends, not many people post yet, so you, take a, um, you should take advantage of this. Um, and also, um, if you want to take class with me, then just go to the artclasses.com. There'll be like a group class and all that. So you get lesson and you will um, see me once a week on via live Google Hangout. And we can go over your stuff and the lesson that you've learned. All right. And it usually have all level of student, you know, like uh, digital painting 101. 102 character design and some of my student here. This is a student group. So uh, and then Dito painting 102 um, See some of the work right here uh, So these are where the students usually hang out um, and you do a bunch of studies and uh, the, Get one lesson once a week and then uh, you meet me after you uh, work on your assignment and you go over uh, your assignment all right, so uh, this is a pet Patreon, so it's a Patreon it's separate from the class. So if you want to go to class, go to the artclass.com and then register there. And on Patreon, you can just pledge and then uh, you will, uh, you post your artwork on the community, then I will, you know, make a random selection, a few pieces a month uh, or one piece a week and I'll pin over and I'll post it on Saturday usually. But if the Patreon pledge drops, that will go away. So. Uh, also, uh, the Patreon pledge on goal number two was the live stream uh, once a week at least. Uh, that goal is gone. So if you want the live stream back, which uh, there will be no longer be live stream on Monday to Friday at this moment. So you got to kind of go and help me out and pledge. Otherwise, I can't. You know, I have to take some other contract um, to cover the loss of the fund. All right, guys. Well. Uh, let's get started. And this week I'm painting over this uh, gladiator. So there's a lot of things that need to be fixed, like lighting, it was on the wrong direction. And then uh, I spent about 25 30 minutes to fix all this lighting. And it's still not quite finished because uh, there's not a lot of, I didn't have enough time to go over everything here. But you know, you, you get some idea. All right, let's uh, get started. All right, so I am going to critique and paint over uh, this gladiator one. Um, first of all, the lighting direction, it's very confusing. So say if the lighting coming from on your body, your lighting is basically top, a little bit off to the right, which is shown here, this should be a little bit lighter. So in here, the lighting shown uh, from the top right side of the screen here. But on the helmet, you have the light over here, which is wrong. It's supposed to have the same directional lighting. And over here, um, kind of close, but you should, you should be seeing the other side because most of the, uh, well, yeah, you could see this side, but then um, the lighting here is wrong on the arm also. Um, so I think that's the main part. And then if the lighting come from there, you should have a cast shadow over here. And you have more light around this area. So the body light was almost correct. Um, but the part that was obvious that was not correct was this part and that 
whole part. I'm just gonna put red here. So I'm just gonna paint over that. Um, and I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough time to do the sword. So basically, and the light should, well, it should be gradually uh, darker as it goes down, but uh, sometimes it doesn't really matter. So in here, I am going to add all shadow. And your shadow is a little too um, dark. I mean, not dark, but the saturation is too muddy. So you have to kind of, when you select the shadow, push it to the more saturated or uh, a little more warm. Say you have this color of shadow. It's not quite you, have, you use too much soft brush also so move it to a bit more red saturation a bit more so it should be you can barely see it but if you clean up these a bit it should be more of that color rather than having it be too gray but i'll just paint over and i'll show you how i solve that problem so okay now we have yeah i think the, the shadow on the skin is a bit too dark and a bit too muddy so the skin would be here there just gonna make that first and then on top we would have more light there Uh, on this elbow part usually it will your arm will go like angle from the elbow usually bend down you're not gonna have it most of the time straight so you will have this facing up so this should be a little lighter and then in here you should have shadow the light and a little bicep well, with that, uh, you want to add muscle, uh, you can do that later. And this will facing this way, so it's going to be slightly darker. I'm just going to add this whole thing before. And then this side we have there. See what I mean? Break, break everything down in plane, then you, you will see more of uh, which part of the plane will get the light. And usually if I paint this, I would probably connect them first. Paint it all the way up. Because the bottom part of the back will be darker most of the time. Let's see how far I should go there. This might be a bit lighter. Then you have a line of shadow. Then you have occlusion shadow, which will be darker. Go around here. See what I mean? So that's now you clean all the palette here. Then you want to soften. You can soft some of the part, but don't soften everything. This part can be softer, but on this edge, it has to be a harder edge there. All right, so now if you want to add more, what do you have there? You kind of have the right idea, but that area is way too dark. If you have a cutoff between light and shadow, that part should be lighter too, not, uh, don't try to make it dark. This whole patch 
it's going to be lighter. So turn this on. I'm not going to add any detail on it. I'm just going to give you some ideas of what it should look like. That what it should be. Then I'm going to add a little maybe highlight and material. Right, and now you have that. Offset it a bit because this part is a little higher. Then you can use the dark part here to section it. But the darker area underneath that on the light side should not be as dark as the part on the shadow will be dark but this if this was 24 this should be uh, a bit lighter unless it was the occlusion which is like right next to the plate here right and then make sure your silhouette is coming up a little bit of rim light maybe silhouette Shadow here. As you can see, this is 29 I'm picking. Only on occlusion that it will be dark. And then you can add a little bit more highlight on the top edge. Right? So now you have that part of uh, and then here you just have to fix the silhouette or um, whatever the, the shape of the forearm you might have muscle or something but this has to be lighter so these are not going to be like super anatomy accurate or something I just fix what I can um, also this edge don't try to soften everything it just look weird Try to, make, try to when you execute something try to make it up uh, be confident about where your light and shadows are and this is a little bit too purple I'm gonna move it to just decided to pick like maybe a few color or something um, I will pick let's just do this one go a bit lighter desaturate that's going to be my two, oh, that's too light. Let's do this one in medium, and then we're going to pick the shadow, which is darker, uh, more saturated, go to it warm, a little bit darker. I think that should be good. Maybe lighten this up a bit. Every time you go light, you have to desaturate it a bit. Every time you go dark, saturate it a bit more and move it toward the warm usually because you the light from the sun is uh, usually cool unless it's in the morning or in the evening then it's going to have a warmer effect but on a normal daylight most of the light will be warm um, and I wouldn't make it that thick if I were to design it that's a bit too thick I'm just going to make it angle a little because that would like if it go into my armpit that was kind of bother me if I wear it so it go a little bit there um, and you have a little bit of occlusion shadow in there right here so I'm going to go back to the leather and now the shadow around here you have to kind of match up right there you could use texture brush to glaze it a little bit 
and then that's going to be occlusion which is darker now I'm going to pick another color in the middle I'll probably pick this one that's 20 20 percent black and then go a little bit lighter so and this might have a little bit of shadow there Because you have the on your back, you have the spine line, right? So this might go uh, right next to the skin, so it should contour around the skin a bit. Then you will have occlusion shadow underneath this, just on some part. Doesn't have to be all. On top, you don't need that. Just needed the bottom. Then this little bit there. It might not be that drastic, you know. When you uh, try to finalize it, you might have to fix the value a little bit here and there. But yeah, that's uh, the top part. On the helmet, the lighting would be here. more also that part so the light will come here gradually go downward I'm gonna use texture bus a bit because it's texture bus make me paint faster but if I want precision I'll go back to the default This uh, come all the way down here, so around this can be lighter also. It's gonna be lighter so around this area, and then kind of darker as it go toward the top. So if you want to bend that in a little bit, you're gonna give this the edge harder or darker area. So it depends on the form. This has a curve down.
properties. Uh, the edges. Because this edge defined the change of plane, so it depends on uh, which you know when it's hmm, light come strongest there. Curve down, curve down, go up. So if you look at it on the on the side on the top view, it will be like this, right? Same as the bottom part. So it's come down, then up. So this facing the same way, and then this as it go down is pointing this way, that way. It is pointing that way, and that pointing away. So uh, things about how planes are changing. goes so plane just represent form and each plane either facing they're catching the light differently so if they change its direction that's mean your value will change change of plane will affect your value even slightly change of plane will also affect your lightly maybe by one five or however uh, the degree of the, the plane are changing the more abrupt the change of plane happen the darker or the lighter or the different between those will be much more obvious just a little bit of highlight there You could have like a little bit of reflective light. Seeing this is metal, it's possible. Light coming from the back. All right, and on this side of the mask, you would have a little bit of this would be. Cast shadow, which you would probably wouldn't be that dark as dark as you have it, it would be darker. And then I'll borrow this if the, the, if it's facing the shape the same direction, then it should have similar light. Then the cast shadow will come down, but it will be slightly darker because it's almost a bit are facing this way. This you turn a bit way too much, it should have a perspective. And things that are further out will fade out a little bit. We we'll have a little bit of rim light there. Then poking the holes in there. up a bit don't make it so dark when you have like a light lighter background um, you have the darker background yeah it could possibly go all the way to black but you have a lighter background and it shouldn't all right um, usually I like my background a little bit darker than this. This like 90. Usually the 90 highlight wouldn't really pop for me. I'll use like 75 possibly. Maybe I'll just darken that. Right. Part of the pin that are okay. Darken this also. What? Oh, 
Okay, now I can see it a bit better. So now you might be able to add a little bit of light on that round surrounding area. And then on the fur, I'll probably have a little bit of time to work on it. I'm not going to be able to pin everything. Do what I can, and this uh, perspective need to fix slightly. Um, fur that should be light. This should be a bit lighter here. And as it goes downward, the plane change, right? Top, this depends on where you want it to be the lightest spot. So, in here is this curved area, so it would probably go here, um, having the same change of plane around up here. Because we think if you look at the plane or the shape of um, this here. Um, you have that. Sphere. Ball change here and then the sphere, the line. Light, light, light in here should be reflecting the same curve as that curve. So that's why this part will be the lightest as plane are changing up and down and this is one flat plane because it's facing this way from the light uh, this is also similar to that because it's curving from the, the front right so it's got the highlight on that same area here and this going down then so this direction of light chain that's why the, the render part from here to there is getting darker and then it's become lighter again here in here this part here, I might have to fix it a little bit because this curve down and this also curve this way. So from light highest point go to the lowest point. That's why it gets slightly darker. And from here, um, from here I'm not sure. It might be the face coming down. So I I have to be lighter on that one. So I'm not really sure yet on that part. I may have to fix it a little bit. But it's probably going to take me quite a while to look at it. You almost run out of time here. But that part is going in for sure. This coming out. This I'm going to choose that to be darker. This will be lighter because it's facing up. This like if it's curved down, this one is facing a little bit more downward. All right, so and then this. I'm not sure if this is uh, maybe some animal fur or something. Then I would kind of make it a little bit more rugged. And put the light. Uh, that should be a little. should be similar to whatever on top just slightly darker possibly Go up. Right in this. that one's gonna be darker because it's going forward so this legs facing down so this will be lighter this is more straight so so it's facing um, 
two up two of that so facing the same way this one's facing down but on your calf your calf facing up your thighs back of your thighs facing down so that's why that's slightly darker and then the occlusion shadow but um, this is just like uh, giving you the point but this the color probably not the value probably not quite there but it's giving you some idea um, and your animal fur here or animal skin give it I would not give it like super white maybe a little mid-tone have like some sort of folding especially it's going around maybe a little bit of folding and wrinkle and as it goes there will be darker the texture Possible. And that part on top will probably be a bit lighter. Desaturated. leather I will do like similar things to whatever I have on top here yeah so this is just not like the finished stuff but should give you the ideas of what it should be done and here you have to like render this again like the new this shouldn't be that dark it should be around that using that face to kind of gauge it, the value and that helmet but it has to be slightly darker this should be similar to that and highlight would be here should go the same whichever face that facing the direct, same direction should have a similar value and it might not have the cast shadow See if it's coming from the front and the right if it's coming from the side then it, it should but yeah it should just give you a, like a you know some idea of how to fix this thing just fix the lighting all right so hopefully that helps and if you guys want uh, feedback feedback or pain over I randomly just pick from the patreon like once or twice a month depending on the goal that you pledge so just look at my goal I think I just passed uh, goal number two which is doing a live stream on patreon and I did the live stream but now I think it's dropped so there might not be live stream any longer unless it's go back up but I will still do the pain over uh, at least once a month so uh, next one might be here it depends you know and you can just go to patreon.com uh, slash theateptara and then you can post on the community and every week I will well actually I did more than uh, my goal so I do it kind of on a weekly basis uh, just randomly pick it here it's still not many people now so you might as well want to take advantage of this or if you want uh, you know class you can just take my class and you get the weekly panel feedback along with the lesson. Uh, it will be a live class via Google Hangout. Just go to theartclass.com and you theartclasses.com here. You click the class and explain what date it is. You can see student review, student artwork, and then on each page I have a video explaining 
uh, whatever how the class go and five week course eight week course for one on one and one on one uh, is there's no certain day you just set up your own day so all right well I hope this is helpful somehow this is just a uh, pretty basic uh, not a lot of fancy stuff going on uh, and usually if you're doing character design or something I would leave the background kind of flat there's another way uh, what I usually do is I maybe I would add a bit of gradient but same thing you know it's not it's helped quite a bit but let's see here a bit of gradient see what I mean to kind of bring it up but then I have to go in and, and tweak uh, some value a little bit more um, let's fix that weather pin help right here Oops. Right there. Okay. I just want to cut that piece out and cover it so now you have that clean area. Um, here, I need to clean those up. Okay. So, yeah, this is not even close to done by any means, but just give you an idea of where the line shadow should go. And yeah, go help me out on Patreon. And then you will see the live stream. So there might not be the live stream on Monday uh, because I was supposed to do only once a week, but uh, I tried to do more. Thought you like it, I guess nobody liked it. <laughs> That's why the Patreon drop. drop. All right. Well, uh, you guys have to go to uh, next week. I might do this one, or it depends on uh, how many people post. Uh, this you have the lighting. It should be well. I'm just gonna explain it really quick this week for now. Um, this it doesn't matter if it's night. It should be darker in the front always darker in the foreground most of the time the shadow in the foreground has to be darker and as it go further away like the green here should be dark the green over there should be less dark should be lighter and desaturated or mix in with the blue and as it goes away so but i'll paint this one early like later but all right so have a good weekend guys bye bye